Welcome back to the Prepare to Fight Fire podcast. Today, I'm your guest, I'm your host, and we're talking about a couple different things that I feel will bring tremendous value to anybody out there getting into the fire service, in the fire service. And um, the topics that we're going to talk about is humility versus confidence, and then kind of mistakes that you make along this career field, and how do you rebound, bounce back, overcome these mistakes, all right? So we're going to drop, just dive right into it. Humility versus confidence. This is a topic that, you know, I've really, really struggled with for a long time. And the biggest thing with humility is knowing that there's always somebody better than you. And, you know, the definition is thinking low of oneself, right? So, so just having the thought process that you really aren't anything special, you are just kind of not bad, not good. You're just there, right? And it's a weird dichotomy, humility. Like it really, really is. Because from where I was, guys, a little bit of perspective, you know, 6'2", 300 pounds, overweight, failed out of fire school, to where I am now, right? An overall hybrid athlete. I've got a couple 100-mile ultras under my belt. I'm a Florida smoke diver. Like I, I'm very, very strong for my, you know, my overall body weight. And the person that was overweight had no confidence. And that person I feel was way more humble than the person that I am today. Now, the person that I am today has come with a tremendous amount of hard work, consistency, discipline, and employing that humble mindset now is very important. But I want you guys to understand that you have to have that confidence. You have to walk with a different swagger when you understand that you've put in the work that nobody else has. Now, there's a lot of people that have this confidence without putting in the work. There's a lot of people that have this confidence without having any accolades to lean on, to prove like, hey, I've done a few things that have shown that I'm resilient, that I have grit, that I and willing to endure difficult things. Now, does that mean that you're better than anybody else? No, it doesn't. Does that mean that um, you know you are gonna be treated a different way? No, it doesn't. What it means is, is that when the opportunity presents itself, you versus the person that does not have that cookie jar, right? We talked about that, that cookie jar. Um, you're gonna be more prepared than they are. You're going to, you know, bring a level of person, firefighter, leader, man, woman, that is a better asset than the person that has that false confidence. That's kind of almost arrogance, but doesn't have anything to kind of lean on that they've proven to themselves and to the world that they are who they say they are, right? So it's a very weird dichotomy, you know, the humility versus confidence. I think every humble person needs to be extremely confident, but I also think that you have to walk a fine line of not being arrogant, right? And arrogant means that you can't fail. Arrogant means that there's nobody better. Arrogant means that, you know, you're the best person for every single job. And that's that, right? Like that's super arrogant. Humble is having the mindset that you're best prepared for any situation. You are bringing your best self to the table every single day. You're going to be the best team player. You're going to follow when you need to follow. You're going to lead when you need to lead. Um, like to me, that's, that's humility, right? But even having that humility, I show up every single day with the confidence that I can step up and be whatever it is that needs to be in that moment. I can step up and not rise to the occasion, just provide the best person to that occasion. And I know that that person's best prepared, right? So in this career field, guys, it's very, very, very important to understand how to read the room because in some rooms, your confidence will be fueled, right? The type of person that puts in the work and is super confident and, you know, shows up, you know, ready, willing, and able in the right room is cheered, is backed up, is supported. In the wrong room, you know, coming across the wrong way, you can, you can really be put down. You can really be put in a corner, isolated. 
Um, so you have to be really, really good at reading the room. Like that's a skill set that you have to develop. Understand wherever you go, what is the climate, as I like to say, right? Is it hot? Is it cold, right? A cold climate means that the people are more often than not lazy, slower speed, older. Um, that doesn't mean it's a bad climate. You just have to prepare for that climate. When it's a warm climate and you know you have people that are your people, they are the people that take initiative, do the hard work, don't make excuses, always have solutions. Like these people are so important because they will fuel you, all right? Now, when you're in a room with people that aren't that way, you have to understand how to adapt and kind of flow with who you're talking to, who you're working with, and make the best of that situation. Bring positivity to a negative environment. But also understand that in that moment, those type of people are not going to fuel you. They're not going to back you up. They're not going to support you as the people that are on the same page or are, are like-minded. Both people are good people, guys. Don't, don't misconstrue my words. The people in the warm environment versus the people in the cold environment both have positive attributes. Both bring skill sets to the table. It's just understanding who's in what room. Like That's something that I have really, really come to realize and, and come to terms with that not everybody is going to understand, agree, and support Julie. And that's okay, right? All Julie can do is be the best that I can be, be the best teammate, be the best leader, and be the best you know version of myself. Now, when we talk about kind of mistakes along the journey and how mistakes can kind of hinder that confidence, mistakes can kind of you know make you more humble. Um, they're necessary. They really, really are. When we talk about being the best that you can be, preparing for every situation to the best of your ability, and working your ass off, like truly putting in the work, mistakes are going to happen. And when mistakes happen, it's your duty to own that mistake wholeheartedly. When you own that mistake, you show that you're taking every lesson out of that mistake. Don't look at it as a negative. Look at it as a lesson. All right. Apply that lesson to your future and never let that happen again. Because when a mistake happens again, it's not a mistake. It's a trend and a choice. All right. And when you trend, you're doing things consistently. And now you're choosing to do the wrong thing versus the right thing. Now, on my journey, guys, I've made a lot of mistakes. I have fallen on my face more often than not. But I've always tried to fall forward, right? Fail forward. And what I mean by that little like kind of mantra, Denzel Washington is the one who says it a lot, is when you fail forward, you take away everything that you did wrong, but you also look at the things that you did right. And sometimes showing up and failing is something that a lot of people take for granted because, I mean, half of the populace just doesn't even show up. Now, that's not enough to get you to where you want to go, but it definitely is a big part of getting that end goal of success, achieving those, you know, those, those milestones that you have set out. And man, I, I really would not be the type of person that I am that I am on this journey without the mistakes without the complete just fuck ups. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like that's, that's what it is. It is what it is. And I use that language because, you know, for the longest time I beat myself up and for anybody out there that has made a lot of mistakes that comes from a place, a dark hole uh, that you're not proud of guys, your past does not define you. It really, really doesn't. You will be judged on how you overcome the darkness, how you overcome the failures and mistakes. And here's something one of my mentors told me. He said, Julian, you you fucked up, but you're not a fuck up. All right. And, and, and those words are harsh, but it's the truth. Right. I made a mistake, but I'm not a mistake. Right. Um, us as, you know, being humans, uh, we're we're not going to be perfect. It's just, it's not a reality of, of the situation. In this career field specifically, we have a lot of things going against us, all right? Number one is we are operating in an environment where we are constantly exposed to negativity. We, we work with a lot of negative people. We run calls that are always a negative problem, right, for the most part. And those two things really weigh heavy on every person that works in the public safety community, 
And with that, you have to understand we have to combat against sleep schedules, hormones. Most people eat shitty foods. And all of those things make us prone to making a lot of mistakes. So give yourself some grace, guys. Do better. Be better. And, you know, the biggest takeaway from this short podcast is, like, be humble, but be confident. Own your mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. And, guys, thank you so much for all the support. I want to take a, a moment just to shout out a couple different people. First of all, we go home. Guys, we go home. Fuels prepared to fight fire. Fuels our candidates, our clients. Like, they are at the top of the tier. They have the best apparel out there. That's all I wear in all of my workouts, whether I'm in gear, out of gear, running, whatever it is, mobility. Their stuff is top tier. So use the code FIREFIT if you want to save some money with We Go Home. And then thank you to all the people who believe in the mission. Like, truly, the people who believe in the mission, who want to be better, like, this is for you. And I want you to know that you have everything it takes to do and achieve whatever it is that you want. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Catch you guys on the next one.